Welcome to my front loader build on a riding lawnmower. Now in an earlier video that I had made, I showed how I was making a parallel frame on the existing frame of this uh, mower. Of course the mowing deck has been removed, I don't intend to put it back on. But this parallel frame that you can see in the picture was used also to provide support for the loader in the front. This is an added steel in order to be a foundation for what the front loader will attach to. Now this is the piece that will go one on each side that the front loader arms will attach to. This is an upright piece this is the immediate attachment to those uh, foundation points. You can see how this is intended to go. This will be welded there. And then the arms will go towards the front. Now there they are. The loader has, uh, or the uh, mower has both uprights in place and we can see that the welding's been done, the front piece has been added, and this is what will attach to that front outgoing piece. You can see how it slides into place and this bar is going to support the front cylinder that will lift the arms for the loader. And there you can kind of see it in place. Now those bars coming out of the center are going to provide further support for this bar so that when the cylinder is putting pressure on it, it can handle the added pressure. And of course there it is, it has uh, half inch grade 8 bolts installed to give it the necessary support that it needs. Now this is a, one of the front arms that have come off of these upright pieces and uh, another one will be made just like it that will go on the opposite side. And of course here you can see that uh, some support has been given to this joint so that it's good and strong. And there it is installed course temporarily but we'll be able to see how this is intended to work here because I'm going to move it by hand now imagine a cylinder is pushing this up a hydraulic cylinder is raising it up you can see how if there was a bucket attached to the front that you'd have this action where you could control the bucket and there of course there's both sides uh, attached kind of start seeing how this is shaping up a little bit. They're primed, but there's still some welding to be done, so I have to clean some of the primer off where we weld because there's some cross members that are going to be in place. And here are some front brackets where the hydraulic cylinder will attach. This is the bottom part of the hydraulic cylinder that will attach and a pin that will go in place and lock it in place. And now you can see the cylinder is actually put in place. Now a cross member has been added to the top and the front and also brackets attached to that cross member so that the cylinder can lock in place both top and bottom. Now the steel that this is made out of is an inch and a half, one eighth inch wall is what this, uh, these arms and these supports have been made out of. Now here in the back 
we see a platform that's been made. Now this platform is intended to house the hydraulic pump. I took a pump that I had used in other uh, places and uh, it's a 12 volt pump that uh, operates off a battery. This is all the supports for this platform. Altogether, this pump with the battery probably weighs about 150 pounds, so uh, it, it needs some decent support. Now this will add act extra traction to the rear, giving the tires some weight, and uh, will also uh, counterbalance any load that I put into the front end loader. And there it is. You can see the pump and uh, the tank the battery, the fluid that's in the tank and so on, and the hoses. Now take note of the hydraulic hoses, of course you got two operating one cylinder and a, another two operating another cylinder, and notice how they're routed. They go down and underneath, and then they run along the frame. Now I use some plastic PVC to make supports in order to support those hydraulic hoses. And they work well for that. So four hoses total, two going to the upright lifting cylinder and two going to the pivot cylinder for the bucket. And you notice that spring, it gives some flexibility there to the hoses uh, so that uh, the pressure on the hoses themselves on the attachment points is lessened. Now this bucket was made out of an old pipe and I'll show that to you in a minute. But what we're going to do right now is test this thing and see if it's working. So it seems to be working. Of course there's some tweaking that has to be done, but fundamentally we have a working loader here. And here we see the material that I use for the front loader. This was a 14 inch pipe, about a 5 16 inch wall of thickness, so it's very, very strong. And I cut it in half and then cut lengthwise about one third of the pipe out. That left me with sort of a C shape to the pipe, and then I added some brackets and so on and attached it to the arms of the loader. So I hope that you're going to look for additional videos. I'm going to show the loader in operation. Here's a real quick clip. Of course we're going to have much more in the new video being able to show you much more of what it's uh, doing and how it's performing and maybe any alterations that I make. So please click the like button and if you want uh, you can even subscribe. Thanks for watching.